We're proving that good climate policy is good economic policy. It's more urgent than ever that we double down on our climate commitments. Russia's war only enhances the urgency of the need to transition the world off its dependence on fossil fuels. President Biden there pushing his green climate agenda on the world stage. The president has agreed to have the United States pay up to $1 billion in what has been described as climate reparations to poor countries for damage caused by the West's use of fossil fuels. But the world's top polluter, China, has been deemed a developing nation despite being the second largest economy in the world and is getting away with paying nothing to that global fund. And, as you can see, China's emissions in the blue here are more than double those from the U.S. in the yellow. Sean, what part of common sense is this? <laughs> Enlighten me, because it all this seems like utter nonsense to me. Before, before we came in here, you're like, is this an onion headline? Yeah. Well, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so, number yeah. one, with Republican-controlled Congress, all of appropriations, all of spending, they have to have riders that say none of our money, none of our tax money can be used for this climate fund, this reparations, uh, number one. Um, but there are strings attached to this. You know, energy equals prosperity, and they're going to have strings attached to this money going to poorer countries. And when you do that, they're going to make sure they don't have, you know, coal and natural gas and oil, which means they can't develop. They can't, they can't grow their economy, so they're going to continue to remain poor. This does not help them. It hurts them. And just if I was in Congress still, I would introduce a bill that says, for these liberal greenies, no meat, no cars, no private airplanes, only bugs and bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Only bugs and bikes. That's right. And Kaylee, uh, the world's most ineffective climate envoy, John Kerry, of course came out against this in the beginning. He said, absolutely not. There will be no legal formal structure. We will not adhere to this. Oh, he rolled over just like he rolls over with using his private plane, even though that's a bigger polluter than anything else. Of course, because he's a globalist. He's an elitist. Uh, this is the exact opposite of America first. You know, when President Trump pulled out of the Paris Climate Accord, he said, I'm president of Pittsburgh, not Paris. It appears Biden's president of Paris and not Pittsburgh because he wants to essentially walk right back into at least that lane of the Paris Climate Accord, which if you look at the numbers, it would have cost us $3 trillion over several decades, 6.5 million jobs just evaporate, 3 million of which uh, would have been jobs in the coal industry. But this is what President Biden wants. And meanwhile, Two thirds of emissions are from China. China has two thirds more emissions, I should say, than the United States and Europe. So they go on not emitting, not paying any money, and we foot the bill. I guess welcome to Biden's America. That's right. And Jackie, so diving into footing that bill, apparently this is coming from a broad donor base and a mosaic of solutions that we have to look forward to, including higher taxes. What else is new from this administration, including those on fossil fuels and the like? So already hurting those hardworking Americans. That are struggling to keep up with these lofty ideals and I would say misfocused ideals of this administration. Well, and that's the thing, right? We've seen the damage that's been done from the Biden uh, climate agenda uh, on taxpayers in this country, bleeding money essentially um, to try to fast track something that we're not ready to do, right? And now we want to take this fight abroad and we want to solve other people's problems as well. I mean, the country is bleeding money right now and just can't handle it, but it makes you think about the United States on, on the world stage, right? Everybody expects us to step in and help everybody else and we just cannot solve the world's problems. Now, on the China front, I would say they are a huge polluter. They should be held accountable. But do we have a president that's doing that? No, he's not pushing them on COVID origins. He's not pushing them on the climate. He's not pushing them on their ties to Vladimir Putin in his attacks on Ukraine. And so, you know, this is one of the problems here. If we just stand up and say, well, we'll give you billions and we'll give you billions and we'll take care of it. We're not Oprah. You know, yeah. we, we've got to hold leaders accountable. The irony, too, is that this is in addition to the $100 billion we've already pledged to developing na nations for helping them surmount fossil fuel um, and also climate change changes, right, like adaptation and the like. Um, and the irony, Michelle, is that all of our debt is tied to China to begin with. So as we rack up like a global debt and, oh, let's give you 100 billion and you another billion and whatever, that's still tied to China, which is essentially our biggest bank, and we're paying interest to them in the trillion. So it all goes back to China. Well, I'm sure they are all laughing every day, all day at us. It's, it's an embarrassment. This has got to be like one of the biggest virtue signals I've ever seen. And this is by a group that all, flew, well, I think there were reportedly 400 private jets that flew to this oh. summit, right? Yep. Yep. And then they were all, eat, they tell us to eat plants and bugs and things, but they're all eating beef 
and sea bass that's cultivated. They're saying, uh, you know, that's okay for us, but not for the rest of you. I am so, if this is all fine, do what you need to do. There's your menu. Live the way you want to live. Don't lecture us. And secondarily, who is going to decide which scientists are going to be hired? to determine how climate change affected which parts of which countries and which weather events were caused by this. Who is paying these scientists? What strings are attached to these scientists yeah. that are supposedly going to determine how much money is owed to each little region for whatever damage they've had? This is just, and the fact that China's not being held their feet to the fire, that's insane and that's embarrassing and it's a joke. But also that's we're it. going into recession right now. Americans are suffering themselves. Maybe yeah. a billion dollars could go a long way to helping Americans out, maybe not other people in other parts of the world. Right. And the irony is that the those impoverished nations uh, refuse to accept certain requirements attached to this that John Kerry proposed, for example, eliminating fossil fuels or reducing it in any way because they said it would consign their citizens to poverty. Well, what do you think is going to happen to Americans when our administration attempts to do the same thing to us every day? It is ruining hardworking Americans. Hey, everyone.